Hello everyone, welcome to week two of our Deepening Our Practice with Oracle Cards workshop. Before we begin, um, I just want to light some sage with you all. And just honor and allow each and every one of us to be in sacred space for our time together. This time of connection and check-in and um, expansion. So, the end of the first week is, uh, has come and we're starting our second week now. And you may have felt that we kind of dove right into the deep end with self-love as our theme for the first week. Um, and that has been intentional because this workshop is really meant to support you in building and uh, solidifying a practice that's authentic for you, that serves you on your path um, for the rest of your life in, in whatever ways you choose to adapt it and shift it at certain times. So it was important for us to dive right into self-love because um, it's, a, it's a core theme. So why don't we all just put our hands on our hearts and just go ahead and close our eyes and just reconnect energetically with each other in this space. So just let yourself give and receive, receive and give that love, that awareness. And allow yourself to feel disconnected from anything that's weighing heavily on you right now whether that's mundane or in the ether realms, whatever is sitting heavy for you right now, just allow yourself to let it go. <sighs> nice exhale, just let it out. This is sacred space for you, sacred space for those of us coming together for this workshop. So, welcome to week two. This week, our key uh, core theme is enter the cave card 42 let's see here we go this card is um, one of the most special in this deck for me I think um, if you follow a shamanic or a Native American path in any way uh, on your spiritual journey. There is a station on the wheel in the West for Grandmother Bear, for Black Bear Woman. And as soon as I saw this card in Sandra's deck, um, I could feel her the way that I feel her when I call in the directions on the medicine wheel. And, um, and her gaze is so all seeing and all knowing in this image and so this is one of like the most special cards for me in the deck and she asked to be in week two of our workshop because we've built a beautiful foundation with self-care but this week we're entering the cave so some of you might feel that this is aligned with shadow work um, it doesn't have to be if you're not called to explore that this week our theme together this week is getting to know our truest self, our truest selves. So we're going to be exploring the parts of our being. Um, and so this is where shadow work might come in because it might be an area that you've rejected or that you haven't allowed to grow. But we're going to be exploring the inner terrains this week. And just like in the medicine wheel, in the direction of West with Black Bear Woman, which is the element of water, which is the dream time, which is intuition, um, which is the inner realm and the ether realm married with water. We are exploring 
um, parts of ourselves that we've perhaps neglected or let go of or didn't give a voice to. Now, you might feel, and I'm just looking at my notes, guys, so I make sure I cover everything in this video. Um, you might feel like, well, I already did that in week one, but I want you to, um, to sit with the fact that you will be engaging in self-care for the rest of your journey and on earth if you choose to incorporate into it into your path. And this is like self-love, self-care, um, 2.0 or whatever you want to say for that. Like this is, this is the deeper level with enter the cave. We are really, really getting into the meat of our being right now. And we are, um, not just offering love and understanding to these parts of ourself that we may not allow to breathe in our daily experience, but we're really saying, Hey, I want to hold your hand and I want to walk with you for a while. So this is a week of solitude, if that's possible for you to give to yourself. Now, that doesn't mean you can't share on the Facebook page. That's not what I'm saying. But in your, um, your allotted time for the workshop this week and for self-care this week and for your spiritual practice this week, um, Bear is asking you to kind of withdraw in a lot of ways, really, and to really sit with understanding yourself and yourselves, the many beings within your one human body right now. So you're going to really want to make sure that there is some time for solitude, you know, even if it's only a few mom a few minutes before you go to bed, but and not just for the journaling, but the solitude for the meditation aspect to come in, the solitude for the sitting with yourself. Um, and if you are currently experiencing any kind of turbulence or turmoil or darkness on your path, on your journey, you're going to find that this solitary time, it's going to feel perhaps scary to engage in, but it's absolutely essential. So you're going to need to give yourself that time and ask the people in your life to be able to honor that or to not be involved in your life anymore. They can't honor that, really. Okay, it's that serious, really. Um, because this time alone is essential. And it does not mean that you have to go away for the week and not talk to anyone. I'm talking about carving time out for yourself this week to be alone with yourself so that you can be quiet enough to really hear the voices within. Because as we began to talk about last week, what we are doing with this work is really getting in touch with ourselves and allowing that inner guidance to really be the voice that's assisting us on our path, not looking for it from outside of ourselves, but being able to connect with it and experience it and explore it and trust it within so in order to trust something, we've got to build a relationship, and that means we have to build a relationship with ourselves. And even for those of us who've been doing this for years, myself included, this is a practice, this is a part of our practice that's very, very easy to let go of, and I speak from experience saying that. So enter the cave is essential in our workshop, and she comes in at week two because we are really ready now to sit with ourselves and to get to know ourselves in a very, very powerful and empowering way. And in a way that can be beautiful as well as um, feel like a lot of work. It's not just about a lot of work. There is a beauty that you will come to find about yourself, within yourself, and with yourself. Um, one of my favorite quotes, and I, I don't know if it was Oscar Wilde or I think it was Oscar Wilde who said this, but you guys can look it up if you, if you really want the actual quote, is that one's greatest love affair in their life is with themselves. And so, um, grandmother bear, black bear woman, brown bear woman, um, entered the cave is telling us that, Hey, you've got to get to know yourself. If you're going to love yourself the way you say you want to. So we're really falling in love with ourselves this week. And this means getting to know ourselves, which means we have to spend time with ourselves. So it's a very powerful type of journeying. 
and it is a practice that does require some form of solitude. So this week it's important for you to give yourself some time alone. Again, even if it's just five minutes before you go to sleep at night. This time is not necessarily for journaling unless this is part of how you want to get to know yourself, okay? This time is really more of a sacred journeying, a sacred meditation of sorts where you um, really journey within and explore and find the parts of yourself. There will be a guided meditation this week at the end of the week, just like at the beginning of the week. But only you can get to know yourself. I cannot get to know you for you. So you are going to explore what types of guided, medi not guided meditation, of sacred journeying as far as a meditative practice goes that works for you. The best way to explore that is not to do research online or watch a bunch of videos or take a bunch of notes. The best way to do that is to be quiet in sacred space with yourself and your guides and your tribe and ask to find the pieces and the parts of yourself that you'd like to know better and then allow that journeying to happen. So this is why at the beginning of this workshop I said you will get out of this workshop what you put into it because this is really a solitary workshop as much as it is a group workshop too. So it's going to be about the time that you give yourself this week to explore this. And again, this type of practice can be five minutes, it can be five hours long if you want it to be two. If you feel really called to give yourself that time, um, you have your healer's blessing to take that time for yourself. Okay, and it is very important. We all need to do that on our journeys at one time or another. And for some of us, um, especially if you identify as a healer within, um, if you identify as a being here to do a lot of spiritual journeying in this life, um, that time for solitude, for loving and honoring and getting to know the self and exploring the inner terrains is essential. So along with this, getting to know yourself, because you are working with um, a shamanic energy healer um, as well as a psychic medium, you're going, you might find, you're going to find that there will be perhaps spirit animals showing up this week to walk with you on your journey. Now, it could be that it's, it's Grandmother Bear here who's really calling you to spend a lot of time with her and to sit with her and to get to know her. Um, and she might just grab you by the hand and say, we've got to go for a walk this week. And then, and you will know that she's your spirit animal who's walking with you this week. But you might find either through your card pulls from the messenger cards this week or just through an understanding intuitively or messages that come through or actual sightings of certain animals that there are spirit animals gathering to walk with you. And in a lot of ways, they can serve as your energetic guide to the type of journeying within that you'll be engaging in this week. So be open to that coming in. You know, it might be that snake is coming in for you or Raven is coming in with message now, or Vulture is arriving with message for you, okay? So don't um, push those things aside. Um, it's a very shamanic medicine that's really coming forward to, to offer you assistance in your path to wholeness. So trust that and know that that might really start coming in this week. If you felt it circling and if you've worked with spirit animals before, you've probably, you probably experienced it last week and even in the week before the workshop, uh, that there was certain energy, certain spirit animal coming along that's wanting to walk with you through this workshop. And, um, and you will probably find this week as well that that is solidifying that message of spirit animal that's come to assist you on this journey. Now, if you are finding this the case, and many of you will, again, the best way to understand what this animal's message is for you and why they've shown up is to go into journeying with this animal. Um, you can definitely look up meanings online and get some good insight. Um, uh, please, that's, that's a wonderful tool. But really connect in with what their specific message is for you, okay? Um, give yourself that time to journey with them and to ask them what they're here to help you with. And they'll have very clear messages for you, and they'll hold your hand and walk with you through this journey. So just um, be aware of that, and don't be afraid to um, connect more deeply with that, even if this is something very new for you that you haven't done before. 
Um, the spirit animal aspect is very strong for me as a healer on my path, and it's also very strong in the messenger cards. So at a soul level, your part of your journey right now is connecting with that energy if you're, if you're doing this workshop. You wouldn't be drawn to it otherwise. Okay, so we have um, a lot of work that we're going to do this weekend. It's going to be really beautiful. So prepare yourself. And I will do a separate homework video for all of you who like to schedule things like me. If you're someone that likes to schedule it out, I have. that's why there's a separate homework video for you. Before we start talking about what we're going to be doing this week to connect with this message of Enter the Cave, uh, what I would like to do is to read to you from Sandra's guidebook the message for card 42, Enter the Cave. Uh, now, many of you have already been drawing this card, so you're already interacting with Grandmother Bear. To know the deepest parts of your being is to know God. The more we are willing to know and understand what has brought us to this point in our life, the more at peace we are. Do not fear yourself, for there is no part of you that is a mistake. Creator designed you to be exactly who you are, and it is through your own self-discovery that you reach a deep level of self-awareness. Know that you are always doing the best you can with the wisdom that you have in the moment. To know yourself is to gain willpower and to do what is in your highest good. Set the intention that no stone will be left unturned within yourself. So you're really taking charge this week. You're in the driver's seat of your experience of your spirituality and your spiritual growth. Um, and... This is about getting to know ourselves. It's really about spending time with ourselves and honoring ourselves. And like Sandra says in the guidebook, um, the messages that came through for her with this card, it's very much about, um, yes, forgiveness will come in because there will be certain times in the journey when you will feel like, oh, I'm having to go back into an energy or a space of myself that I thought I had left behind or I wish I had done that differently and I'm scarred from it now. And you might be brought back to that space in your healing work this week to um, forgive and to release that wounded self that you're holding there. If you're someone who's experienced um, abuse or any type of um, con really uh, forceful control exerted in your life, especially at a young age, you might find that part of this entering the cave is calling back in the fractured parts of the self. Okay? You might also find it's about finding your inner child and allowing her or him to express themselves this week, which is why part of your homework involves creativity and movement this week as well. Remember that with Bear, we are talking about the element of water when we're looking at this from a, a tribal people's perspective, okay? Especially North American, Native American. That's what we're bringing in this week. Um, and so we're talking about this element of water, which is very feminine in its nature. And it's very creative. And it's very, um, remember, it's sacral chakra. So it's all about that watery, psychic, creative energy that we're talking about, okay? So we're going to be exploring ways to get to know ourselves in this way as well. It's a beautiful marriage of journeying and real um, gift to yourself of, of investment in yourself and attention to yourself. Married with a flow of expression that's very intuitive and feminine. So it's very exciting. It's like, I think, going to be my favorite week of this workshop. And, and I know for myself personally, any time Black Bear Woman comes in, I know that it's going to be tough at times. It's going to be scary at times. But it's always going to be something that is extremely powerful. And uh, one in which I am irrevocably changed in a beautiful way for myself on my journey. So... You're going to continue with your daily spread. Remember that your overall theme this week is enter the cave. And so you will do journaling with this card this week yourself. And you can choose that date and that time this week of how you want to journal and explore that. Your daily draws will be done and will include journaling again, exactly like last week for this, guys. So you're going to do your daily draw. You're going to intuitively check in and journal. And then if you feel called to reference your guidebook, you're going to reference your guidebook if you want to. 
Um, and you can explore the relationship between your daily draw and your weekly theme of Enter the Cave. Um, and you can decide how you want to do this this week. This video is going to upload on Sunday, the start of your week. And so you will have time to choose for yourself this week. Uh, give yourself one night for a sacred journeying with Enter the Cave that is completely self-guided and self-led. Um, in the middle of the week, we will talk about our weekly spread, which will be the same as last week, but our theme is going to be Enter the Cave, so there will be a new video for that one so that we can look at it from a slightly different perspective this week. And then fr between Friday and Saturday, actually, let me say Thursday and Friday, not Friday and Saturday, I will upload a guided meditation for you with Enter the Cave that's going to be very shamanic in its nature. So... Um, that is kind of your, your overarching kind of uh, work for the week. And really in there, though, this week, I'm encouraging you to give yourself as much time as you need, as much investment in yourself to get to know yourself. And um, I will read you your journaling prompts in a moment because I'll also want you to schedule a journaling time in there to journal with the following questions that I'm going to share with you. But as much as you can this week, give yourself the time to get to know yourself, okay? Yes, offering self-love, like we start, like we've really stepped into last week, okay? But we're also getting to know ourselves. So this is going to include parts of ourselves that we've hidden, parts of ourselves that we haven't acknowledged, parts of ourselves that we don't allow to come to the surface. And it is a real dropping into that and holding hands with that experience and getting to know that person. And you might find that this week you need to let out a side of the self, even in your everyday life, that isn't a side of yourself that you typically show to people. And I want you to go with that and allow yourself to embrace that. Okay, so for your journaling, here are your prompts. Our guidebook connection question is, who are you deep within? Don't be afraid to explore whatever comes up with this, so past lives might come up. A lot about your soul purpose can even come up with this. Who are you deep within? Who's at the core inside? Who is that being? What does she or he or they or it look like? All right, it's a real, it's about conversation in our journaling this week with ourselves. So who are you deep within? Our second question is deepening our exploration in week one. What parts of yourself have you let go of or smothered out of fear or rejection? So maybe there's like a real diva in there that you never let out. This week in our journaling, we're going to explore who she or he is and how you can let that energy out when you want to, if you want to, how you want to. Your next journaling question is, what messages have come through for you during the dream time? A sacred place guarded by Black Bear Woman that offers clues into your true selves. So this is another aspect of our work this week is paying attention to our dreams. Because there's going to be messages coming through this week for us. So in your journaling, you will talk about your dreams in the dream time and what messages have come through there. What parts of yourself have you rejected due to sins, mistakes, and imperfections? This is your next question. Can you offer these parts forgiveness through understanding that you were doing the best you could in those moments? So it's a real kind of stepping back into time with certain parts of yourself and offering yourself forgiveness, letting yourself out of the hook for ways in which you feel you failed or messed up or didn't do what you should have. Tea time, guys. Hold on. So, um, don't be afraid to allow that to be a longer journaling session, too. And even a, a journeying in meditation for yourself and then a journaling session after. So, um, this is really, uh, this is a really intensively self guided week here for you. It's up to you to sit with and decide how much time you're going to invest in getting to know yourself better this week 
and just what that's going to look at look like okay so you might want to do a uh, journeying every night this week if you feel called to you might only be able to do it one night and then one night with the guided meditation that's okay too but don't let it be about um, this is the only time I have check in first with how much do I need what do I require this week to get to know myself better so daily draws, journaling about your daily draws, and then a journaling session or sessions with your journaling prompts, um, sacred journeying time for yourself, and also the guided meditation this week. You've got a lot going on this week, guys. <laughs> so do I, because I'm doing this with you. Um, and then your other aspect this week is to explore your creativity through perhaps instead of doing like a daily writing journaling, um, art journaling. So getting creative and really using um, crayons or markers or colored pencils and playing with color, if you feel drawn to do that, I'm going to encourage you to do as well. Um, or perhaps it's more that you would like to work with poetry than just than, um, you know just straight up writing answers to the journal prompts or whatever it is. Allow yourself to do that. And then the other thing I want you to give yourself some time for is um, in sacred space, just freeform dancing. So just put on some music or just allow yourself to be moved by spirit and allow your body to move and to dance with no judgment, no um, editing, no, no uh, structured dance steps. I don't want to see any of that. Okay, guys? This is like just free form releasing ecstatic dancing, okay? If you want to be naked when you do it, be naked. <laughs> um, if it feels more comfortable for you to do it at a time when you're the only person in the house or you can at least shut the door and be alone for that space and that time, give that to yourself. Um, but really allow your body to express your spirit and your soul, okay? So that is what you will be focusing on in your work this week for yourself. It's a lot. You can handle it. And um, it's going to be extremely eye-opening. And it's going to be very, very fulfilling for you if you step into this and, and um, really allow yourself to check in with your intuition and what you're doing. So trust that. Come back to that in all of the exercises and allow that to be what's guiding you. Um, and if you're feeling like, well, how do I know if it's in my intuition or if it's my ego, the intuition is always going to feel good right here, which is why for this entire workshop, you're watching me connect here through here into heart. Okay. So it's got to feel good here. If it's your ego, it's going to be coming from a more mental space and it's going to be kind of like what's in it for me. Um, and that's not negative. Like, we honor the ego and the purpose that it serves in our bodies and in our experience, okay? So I'm not saying that's negative, but it's going to feel different. It's going to feel more here and about protecting yourself or judging yourself or judging someone else in order to protect yourself from judging yourself, okay? If it's coming from the intuition, it's going to feel really good here, and there'll almost be a certainty in solar plexus chakra, which is right under the heart chakra, all right? So... Um, it, it, there'll be a certainty in solar plexus and a really good feeling in heart and up through here and a knowing that this is the next best step for me and that's your intuition. So that's what you're going to come back to in your work. Um, even on when is it time for me to dance, it might be that the, you know, the best dancing that happens for you creatively this week, artistically this week, to release this week, um, is something that your intuition will say. It's like, uh, late at night when you've had an awful day and gotten into a fight with your partner or whatever and your intuition's like now's the time to dance let's do it you know so let it guide how you're going to do this and allow it to guide any sacred journey in you're doing this week again your lifelong love affair is with yourself guys so you've got to give yourself that time to get to know yourself and that's what we're doing this week and this, this marriage with self-care is, is, um, is what allows us to come back to balance on our path. And um, I have been given ample opportunity to explore this this year. <laughs> In part so that I'm, I could be a part of facilitating this workshop, I am sure. 
um, because as we know, we teach what we need to learn. So, so please know that you are divinely guided and divinely supported this week in a very um, big, intuitive, psychic type of working would enter the cave. Um, and I really encourage you to step into and meditate with and work with Grandmother Bear and to really um, listen to her messages because she's always very clear. And as a side note, um, I had sat with the structure of this workshop and um, in conversation with Sandra too, well before I saw Black Bear, um, I think it, at the beginning of the workshop, and uh, or maybe right before the workshop, but fi I was finally blessed with physically seeing a bear in the wild in my own yard. Um, just, I believe, right at the start of this workshop or right before we started. And um, that was a huge blessing and a huge honor for me and something I had asked Grandmother Bear if I could see her in person. And um, it was a, it's been a very interesting year for me. And um, she, she chose this time and this year to appear physically for me. And, um, and I, I feel very powerfully blessed the structure of the workshop as well. And that she's an integral part of um, walking a spiritual path that's authentic. And, and allows you to be balanced. By that meaning that you can come back to balance when you veer off on that path, right? And she's really calling and asking you this week, really calling and asking you to look at and to step into your own divinity within and your own self-worth. And in order to truly experience that self-worth, you have to know who you are. And it doesn't mean that who you are can't shift and change, but you've got to know who you are. So, let's just sit together in quiet for a few moments. Just allowing ourselves to feel the energy of the group who's come together to do this work at this time. Across time and space. Nice inhale through the nose, <sighs> exhale through the mouth. Let's do that two more times. <sighs> Take a moment to honor yourself for giving yourself this gift of getting to know who you are of stepping into your power and honoring your truths. And then when you feel that in your being, that honor and love for yourself, then allow it to just energetically reach to the rest of the group as well, including them in that honoring, in that energetic um, good feels for all of us giving ourselves that gift. For all of us opening up the sight this week, not just of the physical vision, but the sight from third eye as well. The sacred knowing. So, don't be surprised this week if there are many sides of the self that you discover and find and come to know many beings within your one being and don't edit any of them all right um, this isn't about making it make sense for your life this is about honoring acknowledging and getting to know the parts of yourself all the parts of yourself so thank you so much for joining me in this workshop um, as always i am sending you much love and many blessings and may Grandmother Bear guide you on your journey this week.